You're watching T.C. McCarthy, the most handsome and entertaining science fiction author on video. Thanks for tuning in. Buy my book, pre-order it, Tiger Burning. Pew! I did a video here of why it's important to pre-order. You pre-order and it'll get sent to you on the day that it becomes available in July of this year, 2019. It'll definitely help me get on the bestsellers list, etc. So again, please, please, please pre-order my book. That said, what are we going to talk about today? Well, today we're going to talk about, we're going to follow in the footsteps of the video I just did. We're going to continue in this vein of maybe some space design disasters or close calls in space, but in this case we're going to look at the American Space Program and Gemini 8. Now, there were several close calls, and actually one fatality, at least, uh, during the, the space program between Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo. And, uh, for example, Friendship 7, the first time John Glenn went into space, they had, a, they had a malfunction with his heat shield and wound up having to keep the booster pack on to maintain the, sheet, the heat shield's integrity, which worked, and he returned to Earth safely. Then in Apollo, you had Apollo 1, which caught fire, killing the three astronauts on the ground. Apollo 13, you had an oxygen tank explode, almost killing the three. Uh, Apollo astronauts made a great movie with uh, Ron, uh, whatever his name is. I want to say Ron Johnson. <laughs> it's not Ron Johnson. Uh, Opie, whatever, whoever that actor is. Great movie, though. Apollo 13 was a great movie. Ron Howard. And, um, uh, you know, the oxygen tank exploded and the astronauts basically had to survive the entire round trip to get back to Earth safely. But one of the ones that people didn't know about until recently, until the movie with, um, uh, oh, I've forgotten that actor's name, but uh, First Man, I think it was an HBO uh, produced movie, people didn't realize that Neil Armstrong participated in the Gemini program, which is a program designed to send two astronauts up into space and practice things like spacewalks, docking, those sorts of maneuvers. And uh, Neil Armstrong played a big role in the Gemini program, and on Gemini 8, we almost lost him. We almost lost the two astronauts, Neil Armstrong and his partner, who I'll mention later on in this video. What was the object of Gemini 8? Well, the, the object was NASA sent up a radio-controlled craft called a GINA. And the object was to practice two things, finding another craft in space and docking with that other craft because they knew when they went to the moon, they would have to complete this mission successfully in order to have any chance of getting the lander to the moon and then returning the astronaut safely upon its return. You had to dock twice during the Apollo mission. So uh, this was the first time that anything like this had been attempted. And Neil Armstrong and his co-pilot, David Scott, uh, both were kind of nervous about this. They got up into orbit, but it, they pulled it off swimmingly, totally successful in docking their Gemini craft to the radio-controlled, remote-controlled Agena spacecraft. And once they did it, the thing went into radio silence on the other side of the Earth. NASA engineers and ground, ground crew were basically breathing a sigh of relief. They had done it. This was successful. They knew that they could check this off their list and be done with it and move on to other kind of experiments. Problem. Once it came around, once the, the docked craft came around the other side of the Earth, David Scott was, the first transmission came from David Scott, and his voice came over the radio saying, we have a serious problem here. Something that nobody on the ground wanted to hear. What was happening was that one of Agena's uh, thrusters and one of the Gemini thrusters, Gemini 8 thrusters, were both igniting out of control and causing a, a, a bad spin. Now, Neil Armstrong at the time thought it was just the Agena thruster that was going crazy, and so he cut off or he disconnected from the Agena spacecraft, at which time he realized, oh man, we've got a problem on our craft as well, because now his craft started spinning faster at about one revolution per second. Now that's really, really fast, and there wasn't much time before both David Scott and Neil Armstrong were going to pass out from the Gs they were pulling as a result of this, so what did Neil Armstrong do? Cut off all thrusters. Now. That saved him from accelerating even further into a, a more and more rapid spin, but it also didn't slow him down because remember, there is no friction in space. So he's still going at this one revolution per second rate and things are starting to get dim. Now, Neil knew, Neil Armstrong knew that the Gemini had a backup thruster system only to be used for re-entry, but that it was his only hope to put a, put a stop to the spin. He went ahead and used it. He used three quarters of the fuel of his backup re-entry thruster system to stop their uncontrollable spin, brought the craft back into control, and then successfully re-entered Earth's atmosphere. They knew, NASA knew at that point, they had to get those guys down as quickly as possible and get them down to an area where they would have to basically cross over China and land somewhere east, I think, of the, of the Hawaiian Islands, which they were able to do. But I think if you haven't watched the movie First Man, go check it out. It's a fantastic scene. It did happen. It was accurately portrayed in the movie. We almost lost Neil Armstrong, the first man on the moon. 
Now, the thing about that episode was be that because of his cool kind of response to the, to the spinning and his ability to save himself and his crew member, I think that put Neil Armstrong, I'll have to check on this, but I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, that may have put Neil Armstrong on the top of the list for the pilot for, of the person who would first land on the moon and take steps on the moon. So that unfortunate incident that almost resulted in his death was what finally, I think, convinced some people at NASA that Neil was our guy. Neil was so cool in a crisis that he was the one that we wanted to trust with landing on the, on the moon, being the first man on the moon. And I think we made the right choice. <laughs> anyway, by my book, Tiger Burning, it takes place in space and uh, explores some of the dangers of space. Pew, put a picture of it right here. Pre-order it again. It'll get, you'll be sent as soon as it comes available in July of 2019. End transmission. Hey, TC McCarthy here, the most eclectic and entertained science fiction author on YouTube, maybe even the internet. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. As usual, buy my books. I've got a new one coming out in July, and uh, I'll have a giveaway coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. Appreciate you subscribing to my channel, and please, 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 please don't forget to click that little bell icon so that whenever I upload new content, you get notified. Thanks again. See you soon.